Hey, this is Alex from Zilker Bark, and today I'm partnering with HEB to bring you some pet portrait tips and tricks to make your holidays even brighter. You can't take great pet portraits without having the right tools for the job. So today, with the help of my assistant, Polly, we're gonna go through some of the tools that will get your dog to give you the pose that you're looking for. Now, many of you probably are familiar with things like these, and we're gonna go over which ones are most effective for your dog. Now, for Polly, she doesn't care much for the squeaks. She doesn't care much for the crinkle. And the tennis ball, uh, she could pass. But there is one thing, Polly's kryptonite and her love language, it's the treat. Now, when working with a dog of her size, you don't need to give her a giant treat like this. You probably wanna rip that up just a little bit. We're not giving them a meal every photo. So go ahead and whip that out and you can put that right in front of her nose, let her know you have it. And then just get her posed. And that way you get those nice puppy dog eyes and you reward her with a treat because she's such a good girl and such a nice poser. Give your dog a treat, give your dog some love and you'll have a poser for the rest of your life. Won't we Polly? That's a good dog. It's as easy as that. All you need is a few toys and treats and you'll be taking great portraits of your pet in no time. Stick around, we've got plenty more for you. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.